the netherworld, darker than a pitch-black cave, deeper than the depths of the seas, a land where ominous demons run rampant. In the past, this world was ruled by an overlord with unrivaled charisma named Krichevskoy. After this great overlord passed away, many demons rose to become the next overlord, plunging the netherworld into an age of chaos. It was then that one demon announced his claim to become the next overlord. That demon was Laharl, the only son of Overlord Krichevskoy. He crushed every demon that stood in his way and forced himself upon the title of Overlord. He was helped by Angel Trainee Flan, and after many twists and turns, the Netherworld and Celestia started interacting. However, because she had harmed other angels, Angel Trainee Flan became a fallen angel and moved into the Overlord's castle with Laharl. A few years later, kill you, I would have killed you a long time ago. You are, as always, a terrible vassal. Anyway, Prince, most demons can destroy the stars, you know. You can destroy as many stars as you want, but no one will accept you as the Overlord just for that. What? Are you saying that all my hard work has been a complete waste of time? Yep, absolutely. Why did you tell me that earlier? It's a vassal's job to keep an eye out for stuff like that. What's wrong, Flan? You're shaking. If you gotta pee, you really shouldn't try and hold it, you know. No, that's not it. Thanks to you two, my garden is completely ruined. Please apologize to the celestial flowers that were trying so hard to sprout. 
Celestial flowers? You planted these things right under my nose? Yes, I received some Yuye seeds. Although subtle, they bloom into very pretty white flowers. Um, Flan, flowers from Celestia don't bloom in the netherworld, you know. What? Good for you. I saved you from wasting your time. You should thank me for that. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Don't be stupid. You never asked. Well, yeah, but... Not to mention, I'm busy. I don't have time for flowers. That's right. You need to hurry up and get people to treat you like an overlord. Just you watch. I'll show every demon that I am a much superior overlord than my old man was. Wait for me! I'm gonna come too! Up and I'm getting hungry, so let's go back to the Overlord's castle. What? My majestic statue has been... I can't allow you to do this, Prince Lahar. 
The fact that you are the Overlord's son does not grant you permission to erect these statues. Who the hell are you? Have you forgotten? I made a name for myself as an advisor to King Krzyzewskoy. I am the noble demon Grosso. Advisor? Grosso? Hey, Etna, do you remember him? I don't know. King Krzyzewskoy had a lot of vassals. I can't remember every single one of them. <clears throat> anyway, you, youngster, are not cut out to be Overlord, the ruler of the Netherworld. With that being said, I shall rid the Netherworld of all these eyesores. I hope you understand. What? I'm already the Overlord! You can't talk to me like that! Destroying my statues is a felony! Are you ready to receive your punishment? Still so full of energy. You haven't changed at all. I'm sorry to say this, but I can't afford to waste any time. Your children should just go home. Don't interfere with our business. Oh, damn it! Looks like that guy's gonna be a real pain. <gasps> Do you think he's trying to become the Overlord too? If he was, instead of destroying the statue, he would have just fought us. I'm also curious about what he meant by our business. Hmm. I don't know what he's up to, but I won't let him destroy my statues. Quick! After him! Hold on a second. I don't remember erecting a statue here. I told the Prinny Squad to set them up all over the place. Edna! Maharl! Look! Oh, man! That rubble used to be your statue, right? I guess he's still one step ahead of us. Damn! So he's gonna rid the netherworld of my statues by destroying them? How dare he! Well, that's what I do. You can't really take them home or anything. They'd just be garbage on the floor. I gotta have balls to say that while I'm standing right here. Edna, stop! You shouldn't say things like that, even though it is true. That goes for you, too! I guess he sensed we were chasing after him. He left us some low-class demons as a souvenir? He's taking me too lightly! I'll slash them all away! Hey, Prince! There's another statue! Oh! Over there? Is that? I figured adding a fountain feature would be a nice touch to improve this statue. Isn't that nice of me? What? It looks like I'm pissing in my pants! He's right! You should have at least made it without its pants on. Oh, yeah! Good call, Flan! No! You shouldn't have made it a fountain! Looks like the monsters like it, though. I don't care! That statue isn't dignifying at all! Take it down now! Beat up anyone who gets in the way! Laharl! There's another statue over there, right? This one better be good! Etna! This statue! 
Satchel isn't even a thing! Oh, that! I had the printies make this one on the side. Do you like it? The body is just like the real thing. It looks as far from the real thing as mine. I can tell they obviously spend more time making yours. No fair, Etna. Can you make one of me too? With a nice body, of course. Shut up! Voluptuous statues are nothing but eyesores. Get rid of it! What? Why? Who cares if some of my statues are mixed in with yours? Statues? You made more than one? Well, how many did you make? Wouldn't I have times as many as the princess? That's not some! Ah! My nice body! I guess my statues aren't the only ones they're getting rid of. I wouldn't have cared if they just stuck with the prince's statues. But how dare those damn fearless idiots destroy my statues, too! Fine! I'll give them a taste of true fear! Found you! Well, well, Prince. I thought I told you I don't have time to waste with you. That being said, and although they were low-class demons, I'm surprised you were able to get through so many of them. As foolish as you are, I'll chalk that up to the fact that you are King Krzyzewskoy's son. How could you destroy my... the Overlord statues like that? How could you? <laughs> That's what I'd like to ask you. Using your father's notoriety to claim the title of Overlord, and performing tyrannical acts for your own benefit. You are nothing short of evil to us. You are as foolish as King Krzyzewskoy was wise. You have zero qualities of an overlord. I cannot allow your tyranny to continue. Is that why you destroyed the statues? Precisely. However, this is only the beginning. We will force you to forfeit the throne, and leave the Overlord's castle. Fool! No one can order me to do anything! I, the Overlord, make my own decisions about everything! Well, how many demons in the Netherworld would agree with what you just said? You could probably count them all on one hand. Oh, shut up! At the very least, You'll have to convince me if you want to call yourself the Overlord. Huh. You are just my old man's vassal. Don't act so cocky. If you aren't convinced, then let me demonstrate the absolute power I wield as the Overlord. Oh well. I suppose I have no choice. It is the responsibility of an adult to punish bad children. I shall discipline you. You've won. Why not? I wipe the floor with you! Prince, I think this is the part where we just roll our eyes and listen to his pitiful excuses. Huh! So, do you accept me as the Overlord now? You don't get it, do you? It doesn't matter if you possess ultimate power. You still don't have what it takes to be the Overlord. Fool! All an Overlord needs is to be powerful! Therefore, I, the strongest demon in the netherworld, have everything it takes to be a great overlord! Like I said before, I can't accept you as King Krzyzewskoy's successor. Enjoy playing overlord, for now. Aww, he ran away! So, what do you want to do now? Get the Prinnies to find out where he's working from. As soon as they find it, let's wreak some havoc! Understood. Laharo, what kind of person was Krzyzewskoy? That was 
way out of left field. Since that demon said you're nothing like King Pachevskoy, I've been wondering what made him such a great person. I don't know. I never tried to know. Let's go back to the Overlord's castle. All right. What's all the commotion? We've got big trouble. Please, take a look at this. Huh? Wh what is this? I don't know, but we need to do something about it before something bad happens. <sighs> we are in dire need of a worthy overlord as soon as possible. Call in all of our officers. There's no time to waste. Yes, sir. <sighs> what are they up to? Damn angels. or more ranger figures. I really can't stand to look at that junk, so can you stop collecting them at the Overlord's castle? No! I live for those things! But anyway, this isn't for me. The delivery printy said it was for the Overlord. I see! For the Overlord, huh? And it must be for me! people would think. In that case, let me begin with... Big 
brother Overlord? Can I take your spot as Overlord? You're even stupider than I thought! No demon would give up being the Overlord! Really? In that case, let me give you this. What is it? Pretty cookies that I baked. I use plenty of sugar, so they're really tasty. Being the overlord or cookies? Hmm, that's a tough decision, isn't it? Hell no! Enough of this mockery! What are you doing? That's it, Angel. I'll make you regret ever wanting to be the Overlord. Laharl, stop! She's just a little girl. Let go, Flan. I don't care if she's small. She could be old for all I care. I can't let her get away with that. I heard that demons were violent, but I didn't think they were this bad. Bye for now. Come up with a new plan. Damn it! Hey, Etna! Follow that angel! Why? We could just leave her be. Some monster would probably eat her. No! An overlord can't let anyone get away with trying to take their position. Okay, fine. I'm going. But something doesn't seem right. Hmm. Who cares? I'm going to catch her. Oh, it's the self proclaimed overlord from earlier. You caught up to me already? Ha 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 ha! You thought you could get away? Wait a minute! I'm not the self-proclaimed Overlord! I am the absolute one and only Overlord! But all these demons say they don't know who you are! Really? All those statues were for nothing? Damn you! Then I will engrave into your rotten brains that I am the ultimate overlord of the netherworld! Did you really think you could get away? You have angered me, the overlord. I will chase you to the ends of the netherworld. Was what I did really that bad? Aren't you being a bit too harsh? Well, you did go after his throne, so I think it's well-deserved. This is getting to be too much work. Why don't you just let us catch you already? Absolutely not! It's time for my secret weapon finisher. And pretty brilliant! My cute pretties, come on! was angelic language! So, are those prinnies from Celestia? Eh, they're just mere prinnies. Don't take them so lightly. These prinnies are the best of the best in Celestia. Them? Really? They're not much different from the ones here. It's a strategy to soften you up. A strategy, I tell you! Now, my prinnies, don't hurt them too badly. Wait! <laughs> Weaklings, I'll wipe you all out in the blink of an eye! I 
I destroyed those printings. Just give up already! What? How could you be so cruel to my cute printings? You're the one who made them bite us. Now it's your turn. Take this! Get out of my way, Flan! You have to calm down, Maharo. You just need Sicily to give up trying to be the Overlord, right? Well, yeah. In that case, we can just talk it out. Leave it to me. Sicily, please give up on being the Overlord. No! Sorry, Laharo! I failed! How can you give up so fast? Are we done with the comedy routine? She's summoning more things! Dorian Dragon Dragnago! Protect me, my dragon! Summon dragons, too? This is no time to be impressed! Here they come! Huh? A dead end? This is it. You won't get away this time. You're wrong. I'll just summon something stronger. Fool! Don't you want to be the Overlord? Why don't you fight your own battles? If you truly dream of becoming the Overlord, why don't you fight the strongest demon in the Netherworld? Me! If you somehow defeat me, you can run around and call yourself the Overlord or whatever you want. Are you sure, Prince? You shouldn't say that so lightly. If she does win, we'll have an angel for an Overlord. That's just wrong. If she wins, but that's impossible. Why do you need to fight? She's just a little girl. Uh, don't treat me like a child. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, big brother overlord. That's what it's gonna take. I just need to do that. I'll give it my best. She seems stronger than I expected. Are you okay, Laharl? Uh, I think so. That's enough! What? Why? I can still fight! Don't push yourself. We you know that you don't have that much strength left. could become the Overlord? Don't make me laugh. Go back to Celestia before I change my mind. I guess I'm not ready to be the Overlord. This is really frustrating. Since I can't beat you, there's nothing I can do about that. Right, Big Brother? Stop calling me that. It bugs the hell out of me. What? But as your little sister, what should I call you? What? Hey, don't joke around like that. Well, I'm not joking. I'm Overlord Krichevskoy's daughter. Which would make me Big Brother Laharl's little sister, right? Why should I believe that? to become the Overlord because... If Big Brother inherited the title of Overlord, I figured I had the right to do so too. I see. But I lost. So I'll go back to Celestia. Sicily, no! Huh? Since you 
you were able to find your brother, you should live with him! With Big Brother? W what are you saying? How could I have an angel for a sister? This can't be true! He has a point. Please, Laharl! I can't say for sure that everything she's saying is true. But what if it is? It would be too cruel to send her back. You just need to spend some time together. I'm sure all your doubts will clear right up. Uh, there she goes again. What do you want to do, Prince? Damn it, going around causing trouble. Sorry, but I just couldn't. Fine, do whatever you want. Thank you, Lahara. Did you hear that, Sicily? You don't have to go back! Really? Are you sure? Yes! So let's be friends, okay? Yay! That angel is King Krachevskoy's daughter? No way! The only kid he had with the queen is Prince Laharl. And the queen sacrificed her life to save him, so she's not around anymore. I wonder what that angel is really up to. A shocking revelation! The pretty demon gal Etna is actually Prince Laharl's little sister! You're older than me! Little sisters start popping up everywhere. It's non-stop perversion of opportunity. Oh, don't look! Big Brother, you're a pervert! Being perverted is wrong. An evil army of little sisters, including Sicily, break out into an all-out battle royale for Prince Laharl. An army of little sisters? That's intense! We must battle to see who his real little sister is. Next time on Lil Sis Ties and Etna Muso, Episode 3, Etna and the Evil Lil Sis Army, I will avenge your death, Prince! Wait! When did I die? Uh, Episode 1, ish? <clears throat> so does everyone understand the situation? Oh, my noble evil eye is aching! The end of the netherworld is near! Precisely. There is no time to waste. Relax. I found what you're looking for. It should be here any minute. Oh, you finally found it? We can finally stop that damn kid from playing Overlord. Oh, relax! I'm talking to you, Majin that is sealed within my left arm! Hurry! Get that kid off the Overlord's throne, or else the Dark Force will explode! Shut up, you damn psycho. You don't have any of those things. Be nice to each other, you two. It won't be long now. Let's set our plans in motion as soon as we're ready. To the rebirth of the Netherworld, by us, the Krachevskoy Group! The Netherworld's evilest warrior! The Krichevskoy Group! That's right, dude! They're a group who won't accept a new overlord unless that overlord is as good as King Krichevskoy, dude! That Grosso guy is like one of their leaders, dude! What an idiot! No demon is as good as King Krichevskoy! Actually, there is someone even better, and he's standing right in front of you. Sorry, Prince. I guess my eyes are really tired. People still really look up to Daddy, huh? It sure seems like it. His son hasn't been as fortunate. But Big Brother is the Overlord, right? He took over Daddy's throne, right? Well, in his case, he just overpowered every other demon who was after and claim the title of Overlord through force. Which is why a lot of demons aren't happy with the situation. I see. Then how did Daddy become such a...
such a respected overlord? I don't know. <laughs> so you know where his base is? Yes, sir, dude! Okay, get ready to attack. This time, I'll bring him to his knees and show him who the real overlord is. Aye, aye, dude! So this is the Krzyzewskoy group's base? Prince, this place has a lot of expensive-looking stuff. You want us to take it all, right? Of course! Everything my old man owned is mine! And everything his group owns is also mine! Don't hold back! Take everything! Um, ahem, <clears throat> Maharo, don't you think you're losing sight of why we came? Well, well. Look who we have here. Prince Lahar. I didn't think you'd get here so fast. My calculations were a bit off, or so it seems. <laughs> don't take me so lightly! If you don't want to lose all this stuff, you better accept me as your overlord! <gasps> that's a great idea! Not to mention, that's quite a self-centered deal! Is this even okay? An angel? Why do you have an angel with you? Well, she's Sicily, Laharo's little sister. What? It's, it's preposterous. His sister? <laughs> an angel? Do you expect me to believe such nonsense? It's not nonsense! I am Overlord Krzyzewskoy's daughter, which makes me Big Brother's little sister! Do you take her serious, Prince? Do you trust this foolish angel? I haven't decided yet. However, she accepts me as the Overlord, which makes her that much better than you! I see. As I thought. You have no right to be the Overlord. While we're getting ready, feel free to sit here and look pretty. Huh! I'll make you sit here and look pretty! Here I come! Where did Grosso go? He said something about getting ready. I wonder what that was all about. Destroy this castle if that's what it takes to get him out here. I can't allow that. Who's there? Who am I? Why, it's me, Rainier. Don't you remember me? your body up against mine? <gasps> Rainier? I don't know you! That's not nice. You really forgot about me? I used to take care of you when you were little. Whenever you wouldn't stop crying at night, I'd put you to sleep by smothering you. I don't believe you! Wait! Then I'd be dead! Big Brother doesn't like busty women. You're absolutely right, which is why he doesn't like me. Yeah, me too. He doesn't like me either. Okay. Right. Are you in my old man's group too? Exactly. King Krzyzewskoy never discriminated against anyone, not even a country bumpkin like me. He seemed entertaining, so I decided to find treasures for him. I'm actually from a family of treasure hunters, you know. I don't care about you. Answer me this. Do you think that I'm less of an overlord than my old man, too? <laughs> Please, 
What, pray tell, part of you is better than he was? <sighs> Damn it! Fine! I will engrave into that sexy body of yours just how terrifying I am! That sounded pretty perverted, Prince. What's with all these idiots running away when they're about to lose? Did she say her name was Rainier? It sounded like she used to work for King Krachevskoy when you were a baby. I don't remember ever seeing her, but I do remember hearing that you had a lot of people taking care of you. I see. He must have really cared about you, big brother. Not quite. They all just wanted to eat his baby food. That's terrible! <laughs> How careless of you, Prince Laharl! You have all wandered into my territory! Who are you? Another one of my old man's group members? I worked for King Kratevskoy. My name is Garungun, the Obsidian Winged Destroyer! I will be sending you straight to Hades! Lend me your blood and bones as you fall into your eternal sleep! Wow! Did you hear that? He sounds so cool! So... <laughs> Those without an evil eye cannot perceive them. Oh, this guy's annoying. You can send yourself to Hades. In fact, I'll even see you off. So, you fear me not? How foolish! <laughs> I'll summon the Martin in my left arm. When he unleashes his Godspeed Astral Force, you'll be reduced to ash! Shall that be your fate? I don't know what's going on, but it sounds like something super crazy is about to happen. This is getting exciting! Only you, Flan. Only you. A margin? Interesting. I'll destroy your margin as well. <laughs> then I shall sear his image into your eyes. Margin that is sealed within me. Obey my commands and demonstrate your strength. Still not come? Prince, this guy's really getting on my nerves. Let's kill him already. I agree. Rainier, when is she coming? Hmm, that's strange. She should have been here by now. I can't see her with my evil eye either. What's going on? Shut up, you. <laughs> I finally have you cornered! <sighs> You're here already? It's time you paid your dues! If you don't want to die, honor me like they did and swear your allegiance to me! Flan, you honor the prince?
Hurry up, Barbara. Did you call for me? Ah, she's finally here. The final piece of our plan. Ugh, took you long enough. How could you make me wait a full day? What? You were here since yesterday? Why didn't you just come out? Fool. Because no one called for me. Well, I only told you to meet us here. I never told you to report in. Which is why you were waiting for us to call for you. Exactly. What's with that idiot? Is she our next opponent? I am not an idiot. My name is Barbara. I am a proud demon warrior. And at the same time, She's our perfect candidate for Overlord. All of our previous battles were just to buy us time for her to get here. It was all part of our plan. Didn't she get here yesterday? A perfect candidate for Overlord who won't even come out until she's called for? Don't make me laugh. It's fine. She only acts when instructed to do so. But she's so obedient, she'll follow any orders we give her. Not to mention she's quite a fighter. If she becomes the Overlord, the Netherworld will be under our control. In other words, the true successors of King Krychevskoy's legacy will be in charge. Weak. I won't allow some fool who can't make their own decisions take my title of Overlord! Now go, Barbara. Show that child that he's not Overlord material! What kind of order is that? If you want me to do something, then be more specific! Fight me, you fool! I see. Understood. Thank you for giving me a specific order. But let me tell you one thing. The one who calls someone else a fool is the true fool. <laughs> Did you see that? The perfect loss for your perfect candidate for Overlord. Barbara, how could you lose? You didn't use the full extent of your strength. Did you take it easy on them? What? You wanted me to win? Then why didn't you tell me to win? I was only told to fight. Are our orders not sufficient? <clears throat> Surprising weakness for a demon who only follows orders. <sighs> Dumbasses. I'll give you one last chance to accept me as your own. Overlord, do you accept? <laughs> Nonsense! Wait, Gurungun. We will accept our defeat. However, I want you to answer one question. Are you aware of the changes that are occurring in another? Changes? How foolish. You were playing brother and sister all the while not knowing what was happening around you. <laughs> We really are siblings. Um, I don't understand what's happening. But what's going on? Take a look outside. Outside? What? What's with all these flowers? Whoa, it's disgustingly vast. Huh? What's the problem here? They're UEA flowers? But I thought they don't bloom here. <laughs> really? Because they're definitely blooming. Don't play dumb. It's all you angels' fault. Well, what? I don't know anything about this. 
this? This never happened until we started interacting with Celestia. We've done everything from cutting those flowers to burning them. They keep growing back right away. Not to mention the area is spreading. At this rate, it won't be long before the Netherworld looks like Celestia. Let me ask you one more thing. Shouldn't this be considered an invasion by Celestia? Celestia would never do such a thing! Then how do you explain the flowers? Well... If King Krichevskoy were alive today, he would never have overlooked this. Precisely! King Krichevskoy would have already saved the Netherworld by himself! Which is why we need to carry on his legacy and protect the Netherworld. Don't make me laugh! What?! Krichevskoy this, Krichevskoy that! How much longer do people plan to hide in the shadow of the dead? Carry on his legacy? How can you do that when you can't even become the Overlord yourself? Or is my old man's legacy just something you can carry on with such little determination? <laughs> But at this rate, the Netherworld will... Don't panic! I'll make the Prinnies investigate the flowers. If Celestia is trying to invade, I'll drive them back. Do you swear by these words? Of course! As Overlord, I can't allow this! So just shut up and accept me as your Overlord! Why should I? Calm down, Rhaenyra. I understand how you feel, but there's no time to waste. We have no choice. Uh, damn it! All right, Prince Lahar. We accept you. For now. Good! My old man's not the Overlord anymore! I am! <laughs> <sighs> what is it, Sicily? It's nothing. It's just... Big Brother's the one who's hiding in Daddy's shadow more than anyone. I keep seeing him get all riled up whenever he hears Daddy's name. You could be right. But I don't think you should bring it up in front of him. Why not? I think you two would just get in a fight. Characters after girl characters! But I still know one thing. I'm the heroine! So we're going to be cutting some of the girl characters. You're first, Sicily. What? But I just got here! Ugh. You're next, Flan. Edna, please stop! I'm in the middle of watching my superhero. And you, Prince. Damn you! I'm the Overlord! You can't just... Ah! Next time on Cute Girl Classifier Etna, Episode 4, I, Etna, am gonna be an idol! Listen to my song! Wait a minute! Hold on! I'm not a girl! <laughs> we'll see about that! <laughs> be so proud of that. W what happened to you? 
Why would you choose that color? Um, if something's bothering you, we can talk about it, you know? What? Why? What are you talking about? What the hell? I look like a player, too! This has got to be the prince's handiwork! Why would you blame him first? Aren't you his vassal? Shut up, everyone! I am trying to sleep in! What fool dares deprive me of my sleep? W wait, you talk just like... And those antennas! Big... Brother? Are you trying to make a fool of me? If I wasn't me, who would I be? Episode 4. An idol overlord is born? So, did you find out why this happened? Apparently, all of the sudden changes to the netherworld have been affecting some demons. Like all those flowers, for example? I think that's to blame. So, can I change back? It depends on the person, but as soon as your body adapts to the changes, it'll change back. A few of the prinnies grew some hair, but they went bald again right away. Ooh, I don't know what I would have done if I became a permanent late riser. Who cares about that? I became a damned woman for Overlord's sake! I can't stand how big my butt and boobs are. Listen, Prince, if you ever complain about that again, I will cut you. You know? That's right! Don't get too cocky, just because your body is somewhat voluptuous. I'm getting a really flat vibe from you two. Oh, what are you watching, Sicily? You're pretty brave to be watching TV while I'm going through a crisis! Hmm, Nether Idol Lanzarote, huh? Who's that? <gasps> You've never heard of Lanza? Nope, and I don't care. She's a super popular idol who just hit her prime. I think she's on a Netherworld tour right now. In terms of popularity, she's way more famous than you, Prince. What? I'm less famous than some idol chick? Cicely, do you like Lanza? N no, not really. She just kind of caught my attention. I don't want to see her in concert or anything. Yeah, I'm guessing she wants to go to her concert, Prince. Not gonna happen. Thought so. However, I've just changed my mind. What? I don't care if she is an idol. I can't allow her to be famous without my permission. We're leaving right now. Get ready! So this is the concert venue? Look at that crowd of demons! Big Brother, hurry! The tickets are gonna sell out! Why would I need a ticket? Huh? Are we going in? I'm not here as a fan. I'm here to put that Lanzarote girl in her place. Prince, you might not want to say that so loud. And here they come. I cannot abide that comment! What? Who are you? We are the Lanzarote Brigade. We 
there are a gathering of like-minded individuals who follow her around and protect her from harm without her knowledge or consent. Sounds like they'd be annoying. Leave this place at once, you disgraceful person! If you don't, we'll swarm your blog! Oh, I'm sorry, but I don't have a blog. You didn't have to tell them that. Ugh, damn weaklings. If you want to try to stop me, I'll just have to beat the hell out of you! Isn't that nice of them, Prince? They gave us their tickets! That just goes to show how nice of a person I am. It looked like you were threatening them. Anyway, there are way more demons inside the venue! Look! They're selling lands of merchandise over there! Hmm. So where is that idol, anyway? Wow! I finally got the Lanza Soda flavored ice cream bar! That's the legendary Lanza Soda flavored ice cream bar? Lanza took one bite of it and got sensitive teeth! It's legendary! Can you even call that Lanza merchandise? Etna, I want an ice cream bar. Go get that one for me. Do whatever it takes, even if that means you have to kill for it. Say no more! Uh, stop! That's just wrong in so many ways! Huh? You want to steal my ice cream bar? It cost me 20,000 hell! Damn! Why would you even buy it, then? Well, I'm not giving it up! I haven't eaten anything cold in a long time because I was waiting for this day! Why would you do that? That's what being a fan is all about, Big Brother! You won't be able to joke around much longer! Come on out, comrades! All worked up over ice cream. How childish. Coming from you? That's gotta hurt. Listen up, everyone. Take these girls' money and spend it on lots of merchandise. Hey, Big Brother, I think this area is restricted to staff only. Who cares? I'm the Overlord. I can go wherever I want to go, whenever I want to go. Are you really going to beat up Lanza? That's what I've been saying all along. That's why we're here. But why? Huh? She didn't do anything wrong. She's been working so hard for her fans. That's the only reason so many people love her. What's wrong with that? Is that a bad thing? Sicily! <laughs> you make me laugh. Everything about her is wrong. I don't get it. I don't get any of it. Prince, are those security guards heading this way? Damn it! All this talking only created more work for us. I can't back down now. Let's get rid of these fools! Making the moolah! I never thought an idol could make me so much money! I will make this tour so successful, every demon in the netherworld will spend money on her! Who's there? I see. 
So you're behind all of this, hog miser. York! <laughs> Remember me? <laughs> what a woman! <laughs> what? Don't look at me like that! Prince, you're a chick now, remember? There's no way he'd recognize you. Prince? That pretty little lady is Prince Laharl? Exactly. I'm not going to explain anything because it's too much of a hassle. You don't need to. Just say these words to me. I love you, Hogmiser. Hell no! Jeez, can you just bring Lanzarote out already? This is taking too long! You barged in here without permission, and that's how you treat me? What do you want with my money tree? Lahara wants to beat her up. Just bring her out here. I see. Who would just bring her out after hearing that? She's a very important investment. I can't let you break her or anything. In that case, I'll just have to settle for beating you up instead. I won't let that happen. Security! Security! <laughs> I hired these powerful demons with my own money! <laughs> Capture these trespassers! Huh. Don't take me so lightly. I'll show you the power of an overlord! Just don't get it. Big Brother, why are we doing this? So many demons came to my concert today, too. They all want to hear my brainwashing song. Yep, yep. Zone in on me. Let your minds overflow with thoughts of me. If everyone does that, no one will have a problem with me becoming the overlord. Just as I thought. Who are you? The press? No! I'm Overlord Laharl! Oh, you're the Overlord? Did you hear all that? Say it ain't so, Lanza! You weren't singing to become the Overlord, were you? Now do you see how foolish you were? No demon would work hard just for their fans. Being a demon is all about being selfish. <gasps> That's what I was doing. Why else would I put up with all this crap? It's all to make Lanza the Overlord. And there goes her fake persona. <gasps> Lanza! Well, anyway, since you came out on stage, I'll just beat you up right here. And when the concert starts, I'll announce my new Overlordship to all my fans. This concert is being broadcast all over the netherworld. It'll be all over the news. You're just a pitiful idol. Do you really think you can beat me? Don't take me lightly. This body was trained by years of singing and dancing lessons. The time has come to unleash its full potential. Well, that's interesting. Let's see what you've got. Owie! You tried to undermine the Overlord. That is a serious crime, you know? What are you doing? 
She's not the innocent idol you thought she was. That may be true, but I can't bring myself to hate her. I didn't know what to do when I found out I couldn't be the Overlord. No one believes that I'm your little sister, so I can never really tell if I was welcome here. Oh, Cicely. That's when I heard Lanza's song. Watching her sing with that bright smile of hers made me feel so much better. That's why. Why what? Ah, that's enough, Laharl. Don't you ever think about her feelings? I don't need to. I can't let a demon who's trying to steal my throne run around loose. Hey, Lanzarote. Please, I'll do anything. Just please spare me. Okay, then. From this point forward, you can be in charge of taking care of that angel. What? what? You, you'll really forgive me if I do that? If you don't want to, I'll just kill you right now and be done with it. I, I got this, Overlord Laharl. Lanza will work really hard. Are you sure that's a good idea? She might try to attack you or something to become the Overlord again. I'd rather have her do it that way than sneaking around behind my back. Besides, I can make her sing songs about me to make me more popular. Right. Whatever you say. You big brother? Oh, don't get me wrong. I didn't do it for you. And don't ever say thank you. It makes my skin crawl. Okay. Thank you. You really don't get it, do you? Oh, what are we going to do? The concert is about to begin. No problem. Since I'm feeling generous today, I'll let them all hear my beautiful singing voice. Surprisingly, Laharl's singing was an unexpected hit with the demons. But after the concert, he turned back into a guy, and her voice was never heard again. This concert came to be known as the Legendary Unknown Princess Concert, and was talked about for many years. Laharl safely turns back into a guy, but is then altered by a mysterious organization. It's a slight blunder on Laharl's part. That's not really slight. And now that the super cute demon gal Etna is back to being the top idol, she begins to take down the organization. Being an idol has nothing to do with that. The mastermind is finally cornered. The person's identity is... Oh, I'm so cute. Next time on Neon Genesis at Galleon, Episode 5, Girl Next Door Etna is back. The organization is still full of mysteries. Wait! Who is the mastermind? Wait, what about Big Brother? Big Brother, do you want to eat something? I'm really good at cooking, you know. I assume there's a lot of things you don't like to eat, so I thought I'd ask. I'm not a child. If it tastes good, I'll eat it! Okay, then I'm gonna try really hard to make you something. Please look forward to it. Isn't that nice? I can't help but smile when I see siblings getting along so well. 
Don't be stupid! She's the one who's going to all the trouble of doing stuff for me! But it's not like you don't like that, right? She wants to work for the Overlord! What's not to like? <laughs> That's totally something you would say. Prince, this looks bad. The demons that were affected by the UEA flowers are planning an attack on Celestia! At this rate, there's going to be war between Celestia and the Netherworld! What? Episode 5, The Celestial Suspicion. They did have something to do with it. After all, those flowers are native to Celestia. It's not unreasonable for other demons to think that too and want to get revenge. If my colors were still messed up, I'd be right there with them. Then we should go to Celestia to find out. Yes, if we just talk to Sarah Flamington, I'm sure he'll be able to prove Celestia's innocence. What do you want to do, Prince? Let's go to Celestia! If the flowers are their fault, I'll beat up the Seraph! And if not, we might be able to find a solution. Pretty smart, Prince. Well, good luck then. What? You're coming with us! Really? Man? Big Brother, do you need to go to the bathroom before we leave? No! We're leaving right away. Get ready. Okay, I can bring up to 300 hells worth of snacks, right? Bring as much as you want, and don't forget to bring more for me. Ooh, the Harl and Sicily are getting along nicely. Oh, I can feel their love for each other. Stop making things up. What about you, Etna? Do you have any siblings? brother or perhaps a sister? I don't need any, and I don't want any. Oh, is that so? I always wanted an older brother myself. So I'm kind of jealous of Sicily. Even if it's him? Well, we need to get ready. You should hurry too. She really needs to learn how to hide things better. Anyway, who is that angel? I haven't found any records about King Krzyzewskoy having a daughter. Not to mention the fact that she's an angel. I don't know what she's after, but don't let her fool you and kill you like a sucker prince. You came from Celestia, right? Did you see anything strange while you were there? Strange? There was an announcement about a new Archangel a while back. <gasps> a new Archangel? What is that person like? Sorry, I don't know. She's useless. Etna, don't say that. Those are... Wow, the flowers made it all the way up here? This is pretty bad, isn't it? It's only a matter of time before the Netherworld turns into Celestia. Damn it! I didn't realize how bad it's gotten. There's no time to waste. We need to go to Celestia right now. I found an angel. I'll show this angel what I'm gonna do to Celestia. Looks like those demons are ready to invade Celestia. I don't really want to deal with them. We should just hand her over. Wh what? She is my vassal. I can't hand her over for free. You're protecting an angel? In that case, you're all going down with her. Huh. You think
think you cliche-spouting weaklings can take on me, the Overlord? Don't make me laugh. I'll take you down with a single breath. <laughs> Are you an angel? No, you're an angel for sure. What is it? Did I do something wrong? Don't play dumb! Your damn flowers are messing with us big time! That's a false accusation! I haven't done anything! Shut up! Get that angel! Demons are so barbaric! I need to tell the Archangel about what happened. Damn it! She got away! Stop right there! I, Flan, the fallen angel of love, will not allow this angel bullying to stand! Wait! Where'd that angel go? Looks like she already got away! <laughs> More angels, huh? Oh, jeez. Thanks to your fooling around, now we gotta deal with these troublemakers. Please stop trying to attack angels! No, it must be the machinations of those angels that are screwing us up. What screwed up with you? My body started to smell. My body's all jiggly. Jiggly. <laughs> the fluttering of my wings has gotten really annoying. Oh, see? All these things. Are they all really the flower's fault? Well, we have to blame it on something. This is a waste of time. Etna, go! You got it. Hey, it's that angel from earlier. <gasps> Demons, are you gonna try to hurt me again? Please relax. We just want to talk. Don't even think about doing anything funny. St stay away from me. Big Brother, don't intimidate her. She's right. Before we do that, we need to tie her up so she can't run away. We don't even know what this angel is doing here. Isn't it only natural to accuse the angels of planting the flowers? But even then, that's going too far! Stop with the pointless bickering! Depending on what her answer is, I may have to tie her up. I won't let you barbarians do that! You're in pretty Prepanica! Please protect me. Jeez! Thanks to everything you guys said, she thinks we're attacking her! My monsters, please fight back while I run away. Ugh. Just get rid of these monsters! the gate to Celestia. It's been a while since I've been here. I wonder if that angel made it back to Celestia. What was she doing in the netherworld anyway? What is that? It looks like a bunch of demons have gathered together. What the hell? 
Did an angel bribe you? Oh! It's the angel from earlier! And she's surrounded by demons! We need to save her! Huh? From earlier? Have you come to attack angels too? something about what's happening to the netherworld. So if that angel knows anything, we just want to talk to her. Lahara. That's Overlord Krachevskoy's son's name. Exactly! And now that he's dead, I'm the Overlord! You know about Big Brother? Big Brother? But you look like an angel. That's right, I am an angel, but I'm also Overlord Krachevskoy's daughter. I see. Not surprising. I'm even more surprised. A demon believing that BS? You are. Huh? What? No. It's nothing. It just occurred to me that given how peculiar Krachev's score was, it's not all that unbelievable. I can understand that you want to talk to her, but we need to do something about these demons first. Do something about us? Damn it! Do you need to talk to that angel too? Yes, you could say that. Will you lend me a hand to protect this angel? Huh! Protect an angel? You said my old man was peculiar, but you're pretty peculiar yourself. Whatever. Okay, I'll lend you a hand. What's your name, anyway? It is Xenolith. Now let's clear out the rabble. We got rid of those annoying pests. Let's hear what that angel has to say. Uh, they're gone. The angel and that Xenolith guy. Did she go back to Celestia? It would have been stupid of her not to run away. That's fine. I was planning on going to see the Seraph anyway. Now, off to Celestia. Wait, the gate is closed. Oh yeah, it is. Did that angel close it? That shouldn't be a problem. Any angel should be able to open it. Here I go! That's weird! It's not budging! Well, Flan, you're not an angel anymore. You're a fallen angel. So you probably shouldn't be able to open it. That's right. <laughs> Oopsie. Well, then let me try. Huh? Why isn't it opening? Is it broken? What? Since we came all this way, I'll just force it open. No, Laharl! If you break it, you'll completely cut off the two worlds. Hmm. Then what do I do? We came all this way for nothing? Damn it! Xenolith? Hmm, I think I've heard that name before somewhere. The gate isn't opening? That is correct. The magic that powers the gate seems to have been dispelled by some anomaly. We are trying to fix it as soon as possible. That means the angels we sent to investigate cannot return. This is a troubling situation. As soon as we open the gate, we will send out search parties to rescue them. All we can do now is wait. I see. Work quickly. Understood, Seraph. How did this happen? What is going on in the netherworld with the Yuye flowers and all?
Demon General Etna appears before a dejected Laharl, finding him on his knees after being unable to open the gate to Celestia. Wait! You were with me the whole time! You call yourself a man? Do you even have a pair? Why, you lousy piece of... Hey! That's enough! After a barrage of negative comments, Laharl is finally going to open the gate. The gate to masochistic pleasure! Ah! That's not the gate you want to open! Ugh. Next time on Demon General Cutie Etna Episode 6, The Demon and the Piggy. Call me Queen! Huh? Shouldn't we call you General? Oh, why isn't the gate to Celestia opening? Those flowers are spreading throughout the netherworld as we speak! Huh, that's strange. This has never happened before. Maybe it has to do with all the other weird things that are happening in the netherworld. Prince, I, uh, need to go somewhere. See ya! Wait! Where do you think you're going at a time like this? You really shouldn't be so nosy about a girl's personal business, Prince. It's my job as Overlord to oversee the actions of my vassals, so hurry up and tell me! She's fine. I'm going to Agul Evil Land. Agul Evil Land? Why would you go there? All you'll find is monsters. Do you really want to be that nosy? Fine. I got a letter telling me to go there. Letter. A letter? Oh, was it a love letter? Ooh. What? No! You really are a love freak. Who was it from? It didn't say. Huh. That sounds fishy. What did the letter say? I want to show you something in Agul Evil Land. Come alone. Or something like that. Alone? That reeks of danger. It might be a trap set up by a demon that has a grudge against me. And you're still gonna go? I could just ignore it, but I don't want the sender to think I wussed out. I'm surprised by how much you hate losing. Alright, fine. I'll go with you. But it's said to come alone, right? Oh, what demon would obediently go by themselves? I guess you're right. Do whatever you want. But if it turns out to be boring, don't blame me. Fine. If I remember. <laughs> Laharl's just worried about Edna. But I wonder who called her out. Land. It looks like the epitome of the netherworld. Yeah, there are a lot of strong monsters all around. Any normal demon wouldn't even dare step foot here. Etna, aren't you still hiding something? Huh? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. You would never come to a place like this. No matter what anyone else would think of you. To think of it, yeah. I can't imagine Etna doing anything that wouldn't make her money. That's so mean. But it's true. This was where King Krichevskoy picked me up. In a place like this? Well, that's what he told me. I don't actually remember it myself. Huh, so that means the person who sent you that letter might know something about your past. Which is why you decided to risk coming here? Hmm. So what if they know about her past? She's my vassal now. Um, big brother, why are you getting all riled up? Whoa! Monsters! You followed me here, Prince, so get rid of them for me. Thanks. Huh. Leave it to me! Uh, 
Ugh, oh, darn. What is it? Not feeling well? Oh, you could tell? I really don't like it here. Since I heard this was where I was found, I've come here a few times. But every time I'm here, my body stiffens up. I really don't like how it feels. I always thought you were mentally tough, but I guess even you can be delicate too sometimes. Lahara, I know you're worried. You should have said that a little kinder. I'm not worried. All I have to say is you better not drag me down. Hey, you're the one who followed me. Remember that. Could the reason you start to feel bad here be because of something that happened in the past? Something scary, maybe? I don't know, but I get this nostalgic feeling here. Something about how it smells, I think. Oh, could it be the smell of the fruit on the trees? <gasps> they look really tasty! Bittersweet. I like the taste, but it's not only that. It's really nostalgic, you know? I want one too! Wait! Me first! Wow! A lot of fruit fell out! And some monsters too! But these guys don't look very appetizing. Ugh, Etna! How much farther do we have to go to meet whoever sent the letter? We've gone in so deep! Are we lost? <sighs> Come on out already! You're obviously stalking us! What? Is someone out there somewhere? Over there? So you're the one who called Edna out here. I said to come alone, but look what we have here. I was going to, but they all decided to follow me. So, what were you scheming when you called me out here? Scheming? I just wanted to show you something. I thought I told you that in the letter. What? You mean you were being completely honest in that letter? What is it that you want to show at now? It's just up ahead. Up ahead? What's there? Just follow me, but be careful. The monsters are stronger and more numerous beyond this point. W wait Damn it! Get out of my way! Wait, what's up ahead? It's just a little further. Don't get so anxious. Anxious. Stop dragging me all over the place. Just tell me what you know. Edna? Or else, I'm gonna kill you! <sighs> no, Edna, you can't! Please, calm down! Shut up, Flan! Spill it! Who the hell are you? What do you know about me? It all started over a thousand years ago. Back then I was always being attacked by demons without a moment's rest. They all thought I was trying to become the Overlord. As a result, many demons tried to defeat me in order to prove their loyalty to Overlord Krzyzewskoy. What? Are you bragging now? No, it's not that. I also had a baby sister, but she was kidnapped by a demon. I tried to rescue her right away, but I was too late. What? Does that mean... Oh. 
My sister had already been rescued by King Krzyzewskoy. My old man saved her? How the hell did he get involved in this? I don't know. I'm sure he just happened to be passing by when he found her. The demon who was responsible probably couldn't explain either. A proud demon would never kidnap a child. How could a demon who uses such cheap tricks have so much pride? It's good that she was rescued, but since King Kurchevskoy probably thought she was an orphan, he took her in. Took her in? Uh, why? Uh, hold on. Are you saying that I'm your little sister? Damn it! Why now? Looks like we better defeat this demon before we continue. Wouldn't you agree? I know that! But you better not run away until you're done telling the rest of your story! That's taken care of. Let's hear the rest of your story. Not so fast. Take a look at that. What? This is what I wanted to show you. But it's just a plain old field. There's nothing there. Are you messing with us? Does this place seem empty to you too? Don't you see anything? Why would you ask me something so obvious? So, what is this place? Why did you bring me here? I see. I used to live here with my sister. Your sister? I remember now! This is the place from my memories! Thank you, big brother! Etna! You really are? Did you think I'd say something like that? This is where you lived with your sister? So what? So what if King Kurchevskoy picked me up? That doesn't mean that I'm your sister. Why should I believe you? I see. I'm sorry for all of this. Tell me one thing, Xenolith. You knew Kurchevskoy took your sister, right? Well, why didn't you tell him and try to get her back? Like I said, I was always being attacked by demons. I figured she would be safer with Krzyzewskoy. It was for her own good. That's so not right. I know it's not, but the best thing to do isn't always the right thing to do. <gasps> do you still think that? That you don't need to be a part of your sister's life? Yes. If I could just show her where she came from, before it's overrun with UEA flowers, that would be enough for me. Is that so? Well, good luck showing this place to your real sister. Edna! Sorry for the trouble. Goodbye. Edna, are you okay with this? You are Xenolith's real... Like I said before, I don't need, nor do I want, an older brother. Anyway, now that we're done here, let's go back to the Overlord's castle, okay? That's where I'm from, and it's where I've always been from. I can't accept that. Whatever the reason, a family shouldn't split up. <sighs> because I... I know how tough that can be. Prinny's dying scream resonates throughout the Overlord's castle one night. But that was only the beginning of this tragedy. Don't kill us off so easily, dude! One by one, the Prinnies suffer mysterious deaths. To figure out what's happening, Detective Yao Etna takes the case for free. For free? Sounds fishy, dude. Lon sharpens her knife every night. Sicily smiles while covered in blood. Prince Laharl wears the skin of a prinny. So, who done it? Maybe they're all working together, dude! Next time on Detective Gal Etna Mysteries, Episode 7, go Robo Detective Prinny! Just destroy the castle! What? 
You're not even gonna solve it, dude! Having trouble sleeping? Flog? Staying up all night is bad for you, you know? Not that I have any right to say that. Flan, why do you think I'm an angel? What? Sorry. There's no way you would know that, huh? All I know is that when I was really young, the Seraph told me that I'm the Overlord's daughter. Seraph Lamington? Yes, and I never doubted his words. Oh, I see. He also told me that my mother was a human and that I have an older brother who's a demon. But he never told me why I was an angel. He just said that he would tell me when I was older. I see. I always thought that if I were a demon instead of an angel, we could have all lived together as one happy family. I wouldn't have been all alone in Celestia. Sicily. Sorry. I'm going to sleep now. Good night, Flan. Hmm. Good night, Sicily. Episode 7. The Truth About Angels. What? We're under attack from Celestia? Yes. As soon as the gate to Celestia opened, angel soldiers began invading the Netherworld. I won't let you back out of your promise that you would fight off the angels if they invaded. We made a blood oath! If you break that oath, you will receive divine punishment! Oh, just shut up already! Show some respect to your overlord! So is this true, Etna? It's true that there are a heck of a lot of angel soldiers around. But we can't just assume that it's an invasion, can we? They're armed. What else could they be here for? I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for all of this, Laharo. Even if there is, we can't just ignore this. We're going to confront those angels. Wait, I have a suggestion for you, Prince. We can use that angel as a hostage when we fight them. Hostage? Me? That should make them hesitant, right? I see. What a brilliantly malicious plan. We have to do it. W wait Hmm. That is something a third-rate demon would come up with. What? She is my vassal! I will take her with me, but... A true overlord would never resort to using hostages. That is just low class. I don't need to rely on such cheap tactics. Angels are weak. If they want to fight, I'll just crush them. Big Brother! You are quite confident. Well, okay then. Good luck. Mr. Overlord. Fools! Who do they think they are trying to tell me what to do? Maybe all those flowers were a part of the invasion. Etna! Why are you all trying to make the angels out to be the bad guys? It's only natural to suspect them under these circumstances, don't you think? It would be weirder to assume the angels aren't involved. We'll just ask the angels. Let's go! Look at all those angel soldiers! Yeah, they definitely aren't on vacation or anything. Don't let your guards down! Let's get closer! Soldiers, what do you want with my netherworld? Demons, perfect. We're looking for angels that went missing in the netherworld. Do you know anything about that? Whew! Looks like they aren't invading. Are you gonna ignore that whole missing angels part? 
Huh? Do you know something? Nope, absolutely not. Missing angels? Never heard of such a thing. I would guess that they came here on vacation and were just attacked by monsters. That is not the case. When the gate to Celestia closed, we lost contact with the... Is that an angel right there? Why, yes I am! No, not you. The one in the back. E yes What are you doing? Every angel in the Netherworld was ordered to return. Head back right now! What? But... You don't have a choice. These are direct orders from the Archangel. The new Archangel? That's right. Now come over here. I'm responsible for making sure you return to Celestia. No! I... don't want to go back! Stop right there! She is my vassal, you know! I don't have time for games! You don't need to worry about Sicily. We will protect and take care of her, so she doesn't need to go back. There are no exceptions. Besides, we can't trust demons. Each and every demon is a kidnapping suspect right now. That's not just... I see. So that's what you really think of us. Now get out of my way. If you don't step aside, I will resort to force. <laughs> you don't understand anything. But if you insist, I will fight you. Bring it! What am I gonna do? I fought against fellow angels. What's gonna happen to me? Oh yeah, when an angel hurts another angel, it's a pretty serious crime. We all know what happened to Flan. Looks like you're going straight to fallen angel status. Good riddance! Why do you always have to fight? They weren't trying to invade us, you know. Would you have preferred if we just let them take her away? Uh, no, but... Flan, thanks. I was the one who was being stubborn. I'll pay for my sins. Um, Prince, sorry to interrupt this heartwarming conversation, but... <sighs> what is it? We're surrounded by angel soldiers. Why did you tell me earlier? So you must be the angel kidnappers. What? Kidnappers? Us? No! I wasn't kidnapped! Please listen to me! Hmm. Looks like the demons are mind-controlling her. I guess we'll just have to take her back with us by force. <sighs> they just don't listen, do they? Huh. I won't just let them push me around! After I nearly beat them to death, I'll convince them that we aren't kidnappers. You should try to convince them before beating them up. Archangel, one of the search parties has reported in. Excellent. Did they say anything about our angel friends who were left behind in the netherworld? They reported that a demon kidnapped a young angel girl and is dragging her around with him. What? So a demon was behind this? We don't know if that demon is connected with all of the missing angels. Yet. They tried to detain the demon and his group, but they were met by heavy resistance and the search party has suffered some injuries. I see. Understood. I shall head to the Netherworld as well. Archangel? I cannot allow my search parties to be attacked. I need to see this situation for myself. Yes, sir. Damn, Angel.
angel soldiers. They attack us as soon as they lay their eyes on us. This is getting us nowhere. I doubt we'll ever get to ask them about the flowers. Sorry. If only I'd gone back to Celestia, none of this would have ever happened. Don't apologize. You're Laharl's little sister. There's no reason you two should ever be separated again. I'm sure they'll understand. I see. So that's what's going on here. Who the hell are you? My name is Varunga, Archangel of Celestia. Uh, Archangel? Nice to meet you. I'm Claude, a fallen angel. Wow. He's as handsome as the last Archangel wasn't! I see. No wonder the search party was having so much trouble. They were fighting over Lord Laharl. <gasps> you know about Laharl? All high-ranking angels know about him. Wow, no one in the Netherworld seems to know about him. Quiet, you! And you must be Demon Angel Sicily. Demon Angel? What? Didn't she tell you? All the other angels fear her, because she's rumored to have Overlord blood in her. Is that true, Sicily? I heard that you move around a lot, but I didn't know you came to the Netherworld. Only a demon angel would think to do that. But even so, you are still an angel. As an archangel, I cannot leave any angel behind, especially at a time like this when many have gone missing. Take my loving right hand and come back with me to Celestia. What are you doing? Did you even wonder... why this angel kid came to the Netherworld all by herself? And why she decided not to go back to Celestia? Because she's your sister? Because she has the blood of an overlord inside her? Archangel, uh, pardon me, but I don't think that's the reason why. Sicily was lonely in Celestia, so she came searching for a place to belong in the Netherworld. Flan! Big Brother! If you didn't even realize that, how could you say all that garbage about love and stuff? This fallen angel love freak would make a much better archangel than you any day. I can't hand her over to an incompetent angel like you! I don't care what you say. The decision has already been made. And you have no authority to change that decision. If you do not comply, I will show you the divine punishment of love. It's not over yet. My love will not lose. Stop. What? S Seraph Lamington? Virunga, step aside for now. You have done your job. Yes, sir. Are you here to take her back, too? You should show her more affection. After all, is she not your sister? You believe that she is, which is why you've been trying so hard to protect her. Am I correct? Hmm. Wait a minute. When the queen died, the prince didn't have a little sister. And why would the child of a human and a demon be an angel? Seraph? 
You may still not be ready for this, but I suppose I must tell you now in order for you to be able to accept the whole truth. Overlord Laharl, do you remember when you had fallen ill and were close to dying when you were young? How could I forget? Your mother saved you by sacrificing her own life. When she did, she was pregnant with Sicily. When she died, she had the potential to become an angel. But she chose to pass that privilege along to the baby in her womb. She said that she didn't want her baby to die because of her own selfish actions. I accepted her decision, and Sicily became an angel. Her name was given to her by her mother. Does that mean that Sicily really is the prince's little sister? It's love! What saved Laharl and what saved Sicily was motherly love! <sighs> so it's my fault you're an angel. <gasps> Why would you say that? How could you think something so twisted? If I never got sick, you would have been born in the netherworld. You never would have had to live all alone in Celestia or have been called the demon angel. Sicily, you should be angry at me. Flan, do you understand why I didn't tell Sicily earlier? Huh? The one who changed Sicily's destiny was her mother. If her mother had not made the decision to save Laharl, Sicily would not have been an angel. My biggest fear for her was that she would hate her mother if she found out. Does that mean Laharl was trying to protect his mother? Big Brother, I'm not going to hate anyone. Because if Mommy didn't save Big Brother, and if she didn't turn me into an angel, I never would have met my kind brother, and I'm really grateful for that. Sicily. Don't call me kind. Do you dare mock the Overlord? No. But that's why I think, as an angel, I need to love you as much as Mommy would have loved you. What? Should I start with a hug and then kiss you? Good for you, Prince. This is not good! You get away from me! Wait! Big Brother! Oh, I'm so happy for her! She doesn't seem to have any hard feelings! I still can't believe she's his little sister, but oh well. It's funnier this way. Oh, that's right! Seraph! I wanted to ask you something. It's about these UEA flowers. Treasure Hottie Etna and her dog Lahara journey to find the treasure of darkness, which lies in the depths of the netherworld. Why am I a dog? Many traps impede their way. Passing fallen angel Flan gets caught in them, but Etna eludes them with ease. Oh, help me! Flan and my beloved dog, Laharl, I won't let your debts be in vain. What? Big Brother was dead too? Next time on Pretty Hunter Etna, Episode 8, Cursed Treasure, Etna in Danger, I'm going to take your treasure. Etna! You're too harsh on my brother. <laughs> so you're saying that Celestia's not behind the UEA flowers? Exactly. We were surprised by what's happening here, too. Which is why I sent angels to investigate. But all of those angels have gone missing. Apparently, other angels who were here before we started the investigation are also missing. Now it's my turn to ask the questions. Do you have any idea where these missing angels are? Nope, not at all. And I don't care. 
Hey, Prince, don't you think it's strange? I can't help but think there's some connection between the missing angels and the flowers that are popping up. Now that you mention it, you're right. I think so, too. Laharo, Celestia and the Netherworld need to join forces in order to solve this mystery. That is a great suggestion. Will you calm all the demons who are blaming everything on us, angels? <gasps> but... Instead of trying to get the demons to work with the angels, it'd be faster if we just look for the angels on our own. In that case, I'll go look. Sicily? Are you doing this to atone for fighting angel soldiers? Even if you find the angels, you will not be absolved of your crimes. I'm not doing this for atonement, Seraph. I just want to help everyone who helped me. When this is all over, I will accept whatever punishment I deserve. So please. I see. Very well. I will leave the search for them to you. I'm counting on you, Sicily. Yes, Seraph! Episode 8, The Overlord's Heir. I'm gonna get going. I need to look for those missing angels. Wait, are you just gonna wander around the netherworld looking for them? Why? Are you an idiot? How do you expect to find them without any leads? More importantly, it's too dangerous! Let's all help her, yeah? That sounds like too much work. Edna! Aren't you worried about Sicily? Thanks, Fawn, but I'll be okay on my own. I'm the one who said I wanted to look. I don't want to bother everyone else with this. Your pitiful attempt to be selfless is already starting to bother me. You do know that you're my vassal and my sister, right? I can't let you just do whatever you want. Big brother? Even though he denies it, the prince is always so nice to Sicily. <laughs> oh, has Lahara finally awakened to the power of love? Oh. What are you two? Gossiping about. Don't worry about it. We don't think that you're uncharacteristically attached to that sister of yours or anything. Wait! You're thinking the exact opposite, aren't you? Let's set what we all already know to the side for now. How are we going to look for the missing angels? I don't like how you said that. Besides, we don't need to look for them ourselves. That's right. We can always just make the Prinny Squad do it. No! There's a more qualified person in my old man's group, remember? Do you mean the treasure hunter Rainier? I see. Since she can find treasures, she should also be able to find angels. I don't know if that'll work, but it's better than looking ourselves. We can make the rest of my old man's group look too. It'll be their punishment for trying to oppose me earlier. Hey, you there, Prinny! What is it, dude? Call my old man's group and tell them to come here. Groza and his group went off somewhere, dude. They were saying something like, while they're dealing with the angels, we can put our final plan into motion, dude. Final plan? What are they going to do? Whatever it is, I'm 100% certain that it isn't good. I see. So they were just using me this whole time. Damn it! Go find them! And once you do, make them look for the angels without food or rest! Uh, aye, aye, dude! I guess Groso is around here somewhere. Oh, they found him pretty quickly. I guess they weren't really hiding or anything, unlike those missing angels. What could they be scheming in a place like this? What is this? Yeah! It shocked me! Are you okay? Setup must.
must be to keep out intruders. Damn it! This is so annoying! <laughs> it's useless. Strong magic was used to make this magical repelling wall. Even with your considerable strength, it will not be easily broken. Damn it! I don't care what it is! Turn it off right now! Seeing that you're here, were you able to drive off the angel? Celestia wasn't invading the Netherworld. The Seraph gave us his word. Have the flowers all disappeared? Well, not yet. Then I cannot deactivate this wall just yet. What are you up to, damn it? This wall blocks out everything on the outside. In other words, it will block out those horrible flowers. And with it, we will forge a new Netherworld. It's the only way we can proudly preserve the Netherworld King Krzyzewskoy established. Basically, you're doing a large-scale shut-in. That doesn't sound like something to be proud of. Shut up! Damn you! Do you think you can do this without my permission? We don't need your permission. You can just pick the flowers with everyone else on the other side of this wall. Get back here! <laughs> ah! Are you okay, big brother? Damn it! I don't care what this thing is! I'm gonna blast through it and drag them all out here! Another wall? This is so annoying! You have no right to complain. You're the one who barged in here. So did you come to me because you can't sleep at night and you wanted to try sleeping in my bosom? Hell no! I don't want to sleep with some busty broad like you! You tell her! When he can't sleep, we promise that we sleep together! I didn't promise anything like that! Sicily, when you were talking about loving the prince, you weren't kidding, were you? Please listen to us, Rainier. Celestia has nothing to do with the UEA flowers. So please don't shut yourselves in there and help us look for missing angels. What? I have no idea what you're talking about, but I have decided that I will be living here from now on. With the new King Krachevskoy. A new... daddy? Who is it? That demon who can only follow orders? Barbara? No. We found someone new. A new demon worthy of bearing Krzyzewskoy's name. So, you found another no-good demon to call Overlord, huh? If you swear your allegiance to the new King Krzyzewskoy, we'll let you join us. Just any demon can become the Overlord! I'm the only Overlord the Netherworld needs! Is that so? Hmm, too bad. In that case, we don't have any use for you. Scram! I can't leave now that I know some other demon is claiming to be the Overlord! Oh, I wonder who this new Krzyzewskoy is. She seemed really proud. Do you think this new person is stronger than Barbara? Maybe this person looks exactly like King Kuchevskoy. Prince, I'm really curious. Let's bust through this wall and chase after her. Okay, let's go check out what this new guy looks like. They trying to lay their eyes on the new King Krzyzewskoy, too? Oh! I'm getting really excited! This is fun! Um, don't forget 
to look for the angels, too. <laughs> Fools! Don't you know that this is no place for heretics like you? It's too late now! You have angered the new King Kachevskoy! I'm the one who's been angered! Just bring out my new old man already! <laughs> have you not noticed yet? The menace of the God of Death who stands before you! What? Is it really here? Where? Is it that pretty? What? Uh, no way! No offense to that pretty, but an overlord needs to look fancier, stronger, and final bossier. Way? He is the newest and evilest overlord in New Netherworld history! New King Grzegowski! You're up! You got it! Whoa! We chose him by using a very specific random number generator! Damn it! He was chosen at random? Hmm. Well, since he is a pity, if he dies, we can just replace him! Our plan is foolproof! Pretty smart. Um, but that pretty's still alive. Hey, you! Keep playing around with King Krzyzewski's name, and you'll suffer a very slow and painful death. Got it? Although I've already decided that I'm gonna kill you half to death! Ugh. But as long as we have this wall, we're safe! Talk all you want, it doesn't matter! Stop right there! Barbara? Huh! I knew you'd be here! I was ordered not to let anyone pass. Do whatever it takes to make sure no one gets by me. I guess she's still just following orders. Get out of my way! I need to get my hands on the fools behind you! Well, well, what a troublemaker. This magical repelling wall is very important. You shouldn't destroy it just for fun. Device wouldn't even make a good toy. Your final plan ends here. Just obey me already. You won't be so confident for much longer. This one was made with stronger magic than any of the previous ones. Even the great King Krachevskoy himself would not have been able to surpass its defenses. In other words, as long as we're here, no one on the outside can even lay a finger on us! Damn it! I don't think they're messing around. The magic coming out of that thing is overwhelming. <laughs> now, Barbara, have them step away this instant. Step away? Do you think giving me such vague orders will do me any good? Ah, sorry. I meant use force to drive them away. Is that specific enough? Understood. This should be easy. You dare to fight me again? I destroyed you last time. Let me warn you, the last time we fought, I didn't even use half of my strength. Don't take me lightly. I might
might end up killing you before I drive you away. Idiot! Let me give you a warning, too! If you don't try to kill me, you'll never be able to stop me! What? What is this? What's happening? What the hell? What's going on? Our netherworld is crumbling! <sighs> The obsidian darkness! It seeks to devour us whole! Wow! I don't know what's going on, but this doesn't look good! What are we gonna do? They're the ones who shut themselves in. Do you want to just leave them, Prince? I'd like to, but we need them to search for the angels. Let's save them, Laharo! I told you. I won't let you pass. Are you still gonna follow orders at a time like this? Stop it! We can't fight each other right now! We need to save them! Why should I stop? I was ordered to drive you away. There is nothing wrong with what I'm doing. What's wrong with you? Just shut up and get out of my way! Is it because I was wrong? What do I need to do? Move! Get out of my way! Uh, why? Our netherworld! <sighs> this is it, huh? Oh, I should have messed around a little more. Damn it! Ah, I'm getting sucked in! Stop sounding so pitiful! <coughs> Prince Lahoro? Why are you giving up? If you truly are my old man's vassals, you shouldn't cry so easily! Can't you just shut off the wall? We tried! The device is broken! There's nothing we can do. Why? There it goes! Nothing! Ow, ow, ow! What are you doing, Angel? Just wait there! I'll do my best to save you! It's no use. The angel of your level can't do anything about this. I know, but I can't just sit here and do nothing. You? Prince Laharl too? It's no use. Not even King Krachevskoy could... Then I just need to attack it harder than my old man! Big brother? Don't say it's impossible! For I am Laharl, the Overlord! The blood of my old man, the guy you all admire so much, flows through me, too! What good am I if I can't save the lives of my vassals? Laharl... Just shut up and believe in me! Prince. The wall is gone? Did you see that? That is the power of the Overlord! Over here, everyone! are here, too! Ooh, looks like it stopped collapsing. I wonder what happened. 
Prince, we... How was that? Now do you think I could be better than my old man? I think that you are the only one who could. Huh. Of course! I still don't know why the UEA flowers are spreading, but I'll restore the netherworld to how it was before. So, you guys get to work for me, the Overlord! As you command, Prince, no! Overlord Laharo! This life that was saved by your highness. We'll dedicate our lives to you, Overlord of the Netherworld. working hard to save their lives was truly that of an overlord. You looked really cool, Harl. When the prince destroyed that wall, that was Xenolith I saw for a split second, wasn't it? I guess no one else noticed. What was he doing here? Our story is drawing to a close. The true heroine goes through her super transformation! Huh? What happened to Edna? After receiving the power of everyone's pure heart, Fallen Angel Flan finally awakens! Your! Oh, in order to save the netherworld from the UEA flowers, a lovely angel descends! Lovely. Next time on Pure Flaw the Awakened Angel, Episode 9, Flaw's Splendid Transformation, Netherworld, give me the power of your love! Oh! Oh, Laharo, is something wrong? You're really leaning in! Those Kruchevskoy group people really changed after they accepted you as the Overlord. They even agreed to help look for the dreaded angels like it was nothing. <laughs> of course they did! After all, they swore allegiance to me! Who would swear allegiance to you, Prince? They must be crazy! <laughs> is good at finding treasure, but I'm pretty sure this is the first time she's ever looked for angels. Not to mention, she hasn't found all the treasure in the netherworld, so we shouldn't get our hopes up too high for her. I see. I guess she's not as reliable as I thought. Well, some netherworld treasures can be dangerous, so I guess we can't really fault her for that. I'm gonna go too. I'm the one who told the Seraph I'd look for the angels, so I can't keep relying on others. Wait, Sicily! Flan? Now that I'm back, everything is going to be A-OK. -okay. All of our problems are practically solved. Did you find the angels? Huh? Uh, not yet. Then why do you sound so cocky? A picture's worth a thousand words. Ready? Transform! <laughs> On Netherworld soil, where evil looms and a federal flower blooms! Pure Flan, the Awakened Angel! Huh? Episode 9, The Missing Angels. What's up, Flan? Are you cosplaying or something? You're pure pink! That's super cool! You look so good in that! Oh, thank you! So you watch the 
pure seven morphing angels too? Stop playing around. I don't care who you dress up as. Well, you should. I have been given the power to awaken as an archangel. This is the costume I chose. What? An archangel? Well, why? Well, since we haven't been able to find any angels, I went to Celestia to discuss the situation. You did what? Then the Seraph granted me the power to become an archangel! Yay! But only while we're searching for the angels. Is that really okay? So now that you have the power of an archangel, will you be able to find the lost angels? A walk in the park! Uh... If an archangel has that kind of power, why weren't those angel search parties able to find them? Fear not! You can trust me! And the power of pure love! The awakened angel! Let's go, everyone! Oh! In fact, you're so confident, it's making me nervous. In an unstable netherworld where UEA flowers are blooming everywhere, you can sense traces of angel power? You're an awesome archangel! Of course! I think I feel the faintest trace of angel power coming from this direction! Uh, maybe. Great. Prospects of finding those angels are looking worse and worse. It's okay. I'll find them with the power of love. That has nothing to do with angel power. Oh, over there. I was thinking of making a joke about mistaking them for angels, but I've decided not to. Them's the breaks. They look angry. Maybe they still think the Celestia is trying to take over the Netherworld. It's okay. Pure Blonde's angel skill love negotiation should be able to persuade them. Let's just beat them and get on with this. I heard that. No! Please let me do my skill. I said, they're spreading all over the netherworld. Ugh. Hide the angels? Do you think they were kidnapped too? It's hard to believe that all those angels who came here for different reasons are actually conspiring to do something. Then wouldn't that mean that some demon is conspiring to do something? found a clue. Does that mean they're near here? I'll find them using the pure flawed angel skill love detection. Here I go. Flawed love detection. Did you mess it up? Oh, don't worry about that. What I say out loud doesn't really matter. And don't yell every time you do something! This is where Xenolith used to live, right? Is it? I don't remember. 
When Xenolith told us his story about how he let his sister go, I couldn't accept it. Wasn't there any other way to save his sister? Do they really have to be separated? It's really none of my business, but I still thought that anyway. Maybe his sister was getting in his way. I don't think so. Why's that? If that were the case, he wouldn't have tried to show her around here and tell her about the past. I think there were other reasons he felt he had to let his sister go. Oh, right. I bet it's one of those touching stories that angels love. Either way, whatever happened to him in the past, it really doesn't matter to me. your excuse for not finding the angels? Forward. Demons have love too! You know how you accept Sicily as your sister, Lahara? Well, that's love! Or how you saved Grosso and his group, and how you're trying to save the Netherworld? Those are all love too! Right. Fine, whatever! Do whatever you want! Understand what I'm saying? Oh! Now let's all hold hands for love power! Fine! Remember? When 
when the gate to Celestia was closed? Back away from that angel! Damn you! What orders were you given this time? To recover angels. I was told to defeat anyone who gets in my way. Who ordered you to do that? I was not ordered to tell anyone. Here we go again! Barbara, please! This angel is really weak! We shouldn't move her! Is that an order? No, I'm just pleading to you. Pleading? Yes, please! If it's not your will to take this angel back, then please let her go! Please! My will? Are you trying to mess with my mind again? Are you mocking me for the way I faithfully follow orders? I won't let you. I'll defeat you once and for all and prove to you that I am correct. Jeez, this idiot never learns. I guess I'll just have to teach you until you get it. You, who can only follow orders, will never be able to defeat me. What? Why can't I win? Is what I'm doing wrong? If so, then what should I do? What do you want to do? Me? No one else knows what you want to do, so what is it that you want to do? I... I don't know. What should I do? You're hopeless. In that case, until you find an answer, serve me. You want to make Barbara your vassal? That's an order. You can't disobey orders, right? True. I got it. I'll become your vassal. And through that, I will find out what I want to do. Until then, as my master, give me any order you want. Fine. For your first order, you will call me Master Overlord from now on. As you command, Master Overlord. Good. <laughs> wow, he made that bossy, hard-to-use idiot his vassal. And he seems happy about it. Is he amazing or just playing around? He gave Barbara a reason to think for herself. I think that's a sign of Laharl's kindness. Sometimes I can't tell if he's tough or if he's kind. Well, King Krzyzewskoy was like that too, so... I guess it's a good thing. Huh? What was that about Daddy? Nothing. Now tell me everything you know. Who ordered you to gather the angels? And what is that person planning? I shall tell you. But I know nothing about the plan, nor do I know the person's name. Ugh, you're so useless. I guess we'll just have to heal that angel and ask her. Oh, yeah! We still need to help her. I do know where I was supposed to bring the angels. Deep inside this cave. So all the missing angels should be... As well as the criminal mastermind. We're closing in on the truth. I don't know who you are, but we're coming for you. I, the Overlord, will defeat you with my very own hands! Sicily, it was only a short time, but it was fun. Good luck with being the prince's sister and all. Huh? What are you saying, Edna? Juan, I have to say I liked you better as a fallen angel, but good luck turning back into an angel. I'm rooting for you. Stop it, Edna. You're making it sound like this is goodbye. And Prince, we've been through so much together, but I was happy to be your vassal. What? You're... There's so much more I want to say, but I don't have any more time. This is it. Next time on Disgaea D2. A brighter darkness. Final episode. The eternal netherworld. 
Thanks for being there for me, everyone! Edna! Prince, are you gonna worry about me too? Are you gonna die because it's the last episode or something? Wow, you're really taking this seriously. Hello. I can't thank you enough for rescuing me. Just make sure you let the Seraph know it was I, the Overlord of the Netherworld, who saved you from dying. Yeah, no one cares. Look, first things first, we need to ask her what happened. Did you come here for an investigation? Were you kidnapped by someone? Yes! How did you know? The Seraph asked us to look for the missing angels. I see. When I reached the gate to Celestia, I lost consciousness. And the next thing I knew, I was in the cave. I was being held with a lot of other angels who were kidnapped in order to inject the Netherworld with the angel power. But keeping that up can be harmful to our health, which is why I escaped and tried to tell the Archangel. Wait! Injecting angel power into the Netherworld? Why would anyone do that? To cover the Netherworld with UEA flowers? No, in order to prevent the Netherworld from collapsing. The Netherworld is collapsing? Why? It's due to the loss of magic power in the Netherworld. We've been injecting our angel powers to try to make up for it. Does that mean that the Netherworld is being maintained by the powers of the kidnapped angels? Oh! That's probably why the UEA flowers are blooming everywhere. I guess that also explains what happened inside Grosso's magical repelling wall, but... What? The netherworld is collapsing! Why is it losing magic power? Because a demon is absorbing the magic from the netherworld. What? How is that even possible? I'm sorry, I don't know. What I don't understand is the demon who made us inject our powers was the same demon that... Who is it? What are they after? If I knew this was going to happen, I would have handled this myself. Xenolith! Are you the... Episode 10, The Eternal Netherworld! So... It looks like you guys discovered that I was the one who was gathering up all the angels. That? And that you're sucking up all the magic in the netherworld! Please, Xenolith! Stop now! Sorry, but I can't do that. Ha! <laughs> you make me laugh. Agul Evil Land is covered with UEA flowers now. If you didn't carry out your foolish plan, this never would have happened! Precisely. But I can't stop it. Why not? I have an artifact inside my body that absorbs magic power. I can't turn it off or remove it, and it keeps absorbing more and more magic. Are you talking about the artifact of absolute death? They say it sucks all the magic from its bearer, eventually killing them! What? But Xenolith is still alive! When I found it, I had accepted my fate, but I was able to escape death by combining with it. Oh! Why did you even need that artifact? You knew it would kill you, right? The only reason a demon would want that much power is... Were you trying to become the Overlord? So that's what you think too, huh? If not, then destroy the artifact and stop all of this now! Your Overlord commands it! I can't do that. I would lose all of the magic I've absorbed up till now. I wouldn't even give it up to save my life. 
I see. Then I'll destroy you along with it. Take this! I'm sorry, but with only that much magic power, you have no hope of defeating me. Big Brother! Relax. I will prevent the Netherworld from collapsing with angel power. It won't be long now. If you get in my way, I won't go easy on you. You're better off steering clear of me. Laharl! Are you okay? Damn it! Relax! How dare he tell me to do that! After him! Hey, Big Brother! Can you defeat Xenolith? Don't ask stupid questions! It's not stupid! It's really, really important! It has nothing to do with being able to or not! I just have to beat him! I don't want to hear any bluffing! Answer me! What are you crying about? Nine times out of ten, we'll lose! What? <gasps> really? Our opponent is sucking magic from the Netherworld. We're basically fighting the Netherworld itself. We could even die! What? Big Brother, let's go back and talk to the Seraph, okay? No! This is the Netherworld's problem! How can I call myself the Overlord if I can't solve this on my own? Not to mention, I've been getting pushed around by all sorts of demons! It's seriously pissing me off! Uh, but... Laharl, I don't think Xenolith is trying to become the Overlord. What? And why would he risk his life to absorb so much power? Hmm, I don't know. But if he really wanted to become the Overlord, he probably would have just finished you off. She's got a point. <gasps> Maybe he's still hiding something. No use, Flan. These are just big chunks of magic that took the shape of demons. What? They're chunks of magic? So is this one of Xenolith's abilities? That's probably a good assumption. In that case, we don't need to hold back. Plow right through them! talking about? You do know that that's the only reason we're going to all this trouble, right? But he's your brother. Why do you need to... How many times do I have to say this? I don't have a brother. I don't know that guy. Are you really sure about that? Ugh, can't you just let it go? Aw, oh, sorry. Let's drop this conversation. What? But Flan... That's enough talking! Looks like we have more magic chunks to deal with! Damn it! The deeper we go, the more there are! Perfect! I've been wanting to take my anger out on something! Prince, stay next to me like a good sidekick! What? You're supposed to be my sidekick! There's no time to argue. Here they come. Damn it. Fine. Etna, go nuts. I'm gonna dish out the assault. Flan, why did you drop the conversation? Somewhere in Etna's heart, she believes that Xenolith is her brother. Let's just believe in her and hope that this doesn't turn tragic. Okay. Damn it! How many of them are there? They just keep coming one after another! 
isn't looking good. By the time we beat them all down, the netherworld might already be covered in flowers. What'll happen to all the angels? They'll probably all shrivel up once all their powers sucked out. What? I won't let that happen. Archangel? Why are you here? The angel you rescued told me everything. I have come to rescue my beloved angels. Huh! I didn't ask for your help. Don't get the wrong impression. I'm not trying to help you. But I'm not going to lose angels just because I was stubborn. Now, go find the demon who kidnapped my angels. I'm not going because you told me to. I'm merely going because I want to destroy that fool for my own reasons. Prince Lahal, we'll help you too! Prince Lahar, we would have appreciated it if you had told us that you found where the angels were being held. It's a good thing we made it in time. Leave these monsters to us. I will unleash everything! I can't hold this thing in my arm back any longer! You guys! Please. Turn the netherworld back to how it used to be. We believe in you, Overlord Lahar. Leave it to me! I won't let you down! Let's go! We have to move while they're distracted! Everyone, don't push yourselves too hard! Thanks, everyone! And... sorry. Laharl, I can feel an immense amount of angel power. I'm sure it's coming from the kidnapped angels. Exactly. But I can't let you pass beyond this point. <sighs> Set a lift! You ignored my warning. How much more trouble do you plan to give me? I am the Overlord! You do know that, right? Did you think I'd just stand aside while you're having your way with the Netherworld? I'll tell you one more time. Destroy the artifact in your body! I told you I can't. Senelith, tell me! Why do you need to gather so much magic power? You are trying to become the Overlord, right? I'm not going to answer that. But... This is your last chance. If you back off now, I'll let you leave unharmed. Don't be stupid. We will defeat you and then destroy that artifact. And we won't back down until we do! Then I guess I'll just have to give it my all to force you. Stop now, the netherworld will crumble in an instant. Then take my angel power instead. Sicily, if you do that, you'll die! That's okay with me. It's my job to find all the missing angels. If Big Brother can return the angels, I'm sure the Seraph would help us. He might even find another way to save the netherworld, right? Don't be stupid! I'm not being stupid. I just don't want you to die. You remind me of our mother. Like how you're trying to give up your life to save mine. But don't worry. I won't lose to this guy. Believe in the power of the Overlord. Believe in your big brother. Big brother. How was the wait? 
I won't go easy on anyone who tries to destroy my artifact, understand? <laughs> I never asked you to! And you better not take me too lightly! I won't lose this battle! I'll put everything I have into destroying you! I see. You are quite determined. But determination alone will not bring you victory. If you still want to fight me, I'll show you my full power. You will see absolute despair, and you'll never think of fighting me again. Why did you take it easy on us? There's no way the person who's sucking all the Netherworld's magic is only that strong! Laharl, I think he couldn't fight at full strength because Edna was here. Please. I don't care if I die, just... Don't destroy the artifact. Are you stupid? Don't be so selfish! The Netherworld won't return to normal unless we destroy it! Otherwise, why would we have fought you in the first place? I know it doesn't make sense, but please... Please tell us, Xenolith! Why do you want to protect it? If magic power is all you wanted, you wouldn't have put your life on the line like you did. <sighs> What? For my sister. Sister? Do you mean Edna? Ever since she was born, she has always had immense magic power. But because she was so strong, she has always been at risk of being killed by her own overwhelming magic. Which is why I risked everything with the artifact of absolute death so it can drain her magic and save her from imminent death. So the reason you used the artifact was... Oh! To save your sister! To save Etna! What? Don't be stupid! Prince, let's destroy that artifact already! Wait, Etna! If it's destroyed, all the magic it absorbed will return to its owners! Oh, that means all the magic that could have killed you will go right back into you, right? That's fine. It'll just make me really strong. I knew you'd say that. Which is why I didn't tell you earlier. You don't know the terror of your own magic. Although you've grown, you'll still be crushed by it. Interesting. I'm not as weak as you think I am. You got that? Now hurry up and give me the artifact. If you really are my brother, then stop making a fool of yourself! Edna! Xenolith, I can't grant your wish. I'm going to destroy the artifact. Very well. If you must, then please kill me when you do. I can't handle seeing my little sister suffer anymore. I won't kill you. I need you to explain to the Seraph everything you did. You're a heartless overlord. Now I shall destroy it! is absorbing magic at a much faster rate now! Oh! <sighs> He's gone! Oh! I sense immense power coming from up ahead! I think Xenolith is! I should have been more careful. I didn't think the artifact. 
effect itself would resist. Let's go! Damn it! What is this? I guess this is where all the angels are injecting their angel powers. Again. And this time, we have to try to kill him. But... but he's your brother! That doesn't matter. If we don't kill him, he's going to kill us. Prince! And no! Before we defeat that thing, I have one order to give you! What are you talking about? When we destroy the artifact, and you get your magic back, don't die! These are your orders from your overlord! You must obey them, understand? Big Brother... I refuse. What? Why won't you just obey me? Did you really think I would follow such a ridiculous order? Well, you sure picked a great time to be your usual insolent self. Fine. After everything's over, if you're still in one piece, I'll grant you any wish you want. Are you sure about that? That's a little too extreme. An overlord doesn't lie. Oh, but you just can't wish to become overlord. Well, that's not quite any wish I want, now is it? Shut up! So, yes or no? Fine. Even if you didn't order me to, I wouldn't have died anyway. Now we just have to stop that thing! The Netherworld belongs to me, the Overlord! I won't let some artifact do whatever it wants! This is it! Let's go! Fact of absolute death. Oh, Xenolith, you've got your consciousness back. Stay back. 
but if we don't help you, your body is going to... Don't mind me. My sister. Sister, all right. She's alive! So please escape! I can't do that. Looks like I've angered the Netherworld. It won't let me get away after what I did. But you can't just give up. Edna finally accepted you as her brother. Hold on, Xenolith. Too much power during the battle. That's fine. Sorry for causing you so much trouble, Overlord Lahar. I'm counting on you to look after my sister. Screw you! Edna! You're so self-centered! You arbitrarily saved your sister, gave her to King Krachevskoy, and used that artifact to protect her. And now you're just gonna die? You're kidding, right? Oh, there's so much stuff I need to interrogate you about. I won't let you give up. If you really are my brother, then show me the fight in you. Make it out alive for me. You caused plenty of problems in my netherworld. I'm gonna make you pay for all of your crimes. Once the netherworld is back to normal, I'll be waiting for you at the Overlord's castle. I'll see you there. That is an order from your Overlord. I will make you come. That's right. We'll see each other again. Order from the Overlord, huh? <laughs> You're so overbearing. I'll be waiting, stupid brother.
Once Xenolith's artifact was destroyed, the netherworld reverted to its usual state. The kidnapped angels were released. After the Seraph heard what happened, relations between the netherworld and Celestia resumed. However, Sicily's sin of harming other angels got her banished from Celestia, so she decided to live with Laharl in the netherworld. Edna had fallen into a deep sleep. She did not reply to outside stimuli, but Laharl and the others all believed she would recover. A few months later... Word of you is spreading nicely throughout the netherworld, Prince Laharl, dude! At this rate, it shouldn't be long before the demons accept you as the Overlord, dude! The demons are all finally accepting my greatness! Alright, organize a parade to celebrate! Big Brother, we've already had 30 parades. Do you really want to have another one? The number of times we've had one doesn't matter. We're gonna have another one because I want another one! So, even though everyone accepts you as Overlord now, you still haven't changed. Huh. No matter what happens, I'll always be like this. Now and forever! Okay, you're right. That's more your style anyway. Oh, but no parade, okay? You promised to take me sightseeing around the netherworld today, remember? What? I don't remember saying any such thing! You can play dumb all you want, but I'm not letting you get out of it! I can't go back to Celestia, so it's your job to help me get accustomed to the Netherworld! Stop! Get off me! Laharl! Something's happened! Edna's... Is she up? She woke up, but she took off somewhere by herself. What? Is she all right? She should be okay. She seemed like her usual self. But she woke up and left without telling anyone where she was going? Well, that's a little mean. True, but that's just Etna being Etna. I bet she'll come back in no time. This isn't acceptable. Hey, Brittany, go find Etna. Aye, aye, dude! Why didn't she come straight to me? Damn it! I was really... Worried about her, weren't you? We all knew you were only pretending you weren't worried. No! Your eyes were playing tricks on you! I wasn't worried one bit! Yeah, right. Whatever you say, big brother. Absolutely! You don't believe me at all, do you? So, where did Edna go, anyway? Huh, come to think of it, she looked kind of happy as she was leaving. You finally made it back. Don't worry, I'll talk to the prince and get him to pardon you for all that shit you pulled. He said he'll grant me one wish. But in return, you're going to have to do whatever I say for the rest of my life. You've caused so much trouble, it's only natural you'd have to do that. Now let's go see the prince. Stupid big brother. <laughs>